Hello, I am the Red Monk. Yo, Happy New Year 2020. I haven't uploaded in like uh, two weeks, and that is because I went on a vacation to the beach. I had a ball of fun. I tell you, that's why I didn't upload in two weeks. <laughs> that's, that is how it is. Well, yeah, the day at the beach was so fucking fun. Like, we're just like running around having fun. Look at me having fun with my friends. I have friends. But, <laughs> man, do I look good in the sun. Well, I'm coming back better than ever for the year 2020. All right, the Roaring Twenties. All right, this is going to be a good year for the Mazzy Monk show. And for our first episode, I'd like to introduce you to five cool monk tips. And those uh, cool monk tips are how to fix the action on your P base. Now, if you don't know what P stands for, it stands for plastic. Because these bases are fucking ghetto. They're very cheaply designed. And they're very cheap. So, um, with an actual base, with an actual base, there's a screw. You like unscrew a panel right here. And inside that panel, there's a screw. But not all bases are made that way. And the cheaper way to make a motherfucking base is to just have a piece of wood screwed to another piece of wood. So what what that does, what that does is that affects how these two things are and how it affects this is between the fretboard and the strings. Now, you usually just find whatever you need and stick with it. But what you want to have is the string is not touching the fretboard, but is as close to the fretboard as possible. Because if it is too close, It'll, it'll make this ringing sound because it's touching the fucking frets. But if your action is too big, it takes a lot more. When you like, I'm up at the tenth fret, and if it's too far away, that's more time to push, so you can't play as fast up in the higher frets. Especially with the harder instruments up here near the fret is usually when this is the furthest away is when it buzzes last. So when you're doing this, you're doing this by eye, and you're trying to find the perfect distance between the string and the fretboard. And for plastic bases, because they're so fucking cheap, usually, which I'm pretty sure is what you guys are watching for, is the high action. There's high action because it's so fucking ghetto, which means that there's a large distance between the strings and the fretboard. So you need to adjust the fretboard of these motherfuckers. The most common issue is that since they're so cheaply made, the strings over-tension the bass. And what you were trying to fix on this little DIY process of bass-fixing maintenance, you have to understand that you need to adjust this. So we're going to adjust this, look for the eyes, and try to make it so the strings are as close to the fretboard as possible. And that is if you don't have a screw. If it's just two pieces of wood stacked against each other. So, I'm just going to put up some pictures. And I'm just going to talk. I'm just going to talk through the process. And I'll just go down the list. This is five cool monk tips. So, we have five steps to the process of how to fix the action on your shitty base. Whether it's too low or too high, usually it's going to be too high. So, step one. We're going to loosen these motherfuckers, loosen the strings, it can go really deep. And what that'll do is it'll take tension off the strings. Now, you don't have to take the strings off per se, you actually just want to leave them on because that's an easier process. But to loosen up all the strings up by the peg pen, and then you're going to get a screwdriver 
and just unscrew that plate right there. Okay? Tension is off the street, so you unscrew this plate. If you look in between it, you can now disconnect the head and the base and the fretboard without it, you know, zigging because you have the strings on tension. So that just comes off. The strings you're still to have connected here. You still want to keep your strings connected here, but you have to loosen it. So you look in between here and there, and you see that there is just a piece of wood screwed onto another piece of wood. Right? This is what we're dealing with. This is the cheapest kind of motherfucking base. So what we do is that we can either have high action or low action. To get uh, a lower action, you need to make it so the fretboard is closer to the hammer, the thing, if you want to lower the action. So in that case, you have to push the fretboard up. You have to push the fretboard up. And what that does is it'll, you put some paper towels in between the fretboard and the hammer on that little pocket. And what that'll do is that'll push the fretboard up. So you put the screws as normal and it's further out, right? And that'll get, if you have too high action, you need to lower it. And you lower it by just putting some paper towels. And I found, just put paper towels. You see how there has some paper towels and this is screwed? You just unscrew this. Shoving some paper towels. And then it's the process of trial and error. And to uh, heighten the, to, if you want to have, if your uh, action is too high, you need to lower it. You need to push the fretboard closer to the strings. And I found that, you know, paper towels work really well because, you know, as long as you're not, push it in there they can just remain under pressure and keep a distance away and paper towels can press right like you can still have a really good screw and have this gap entirely filled i say you probably have about depending on your base three millimeters depending on how many paper towels you put in you have about three millimeters of how you can just adjust the screws good because your paper towels can press and these can still be held in with the screws some of the way out now I recommend make sure the screws are all the way in because I've had this snap on me multiple times before. But you can actually look, you can actually look at the action. You can actually look at the action as you adjust the screws. So if you need to bring the fret more closer to the strings, you can just you know pull out on the fretboard and loosen the, the screws while looking at the strings because paper towels are compressible. But if you need to slightly make it so the action is higher, you want to make higher action, you just push in and screw it up, which will hold it closer to the fretboard. And that's the most part if you want to, you know, lower the action. But let's say your action is too low and you're buzzing. You know, your action is too low. So I recommend going in there with some sandpaper. Unscrew the neck, you can either go from the head or the fretboard. I recommend working the fretboard just because the fretboard is a little bit further out and it's just easier to sand. And you just uh, sand it. You just sand the fretboard, you know, making it shorter. So when the screws go in, the screws will go in deeper. And it, uh, you lost some of the wood, so it's closer in. You're making it uh, thinner. And it is very... Uh, Easy. The only thing that matters is if the screws are connected, right? The screws have to be connected enough to support the counterweight of the strings on tension, strings tension. So what you do here is that you have a lot of wiggle room. Like I sanded this down and put paper towels in. And it's really fine tuning, but it's a lot more difficult than just adjusting a screw because these are like really cheap, you know, they're cheap bases. And just add tension slowly. Add tension slowly when you're uh, retightening the strings. You know, make sure it looks good. And you have to understand if you are getting very light buzzing on some of the strings. When you add tension, that will automatically heighten the action. Because the strings will pull up on the fretboard. So when you have the strings loose and you're just looking at the tension. What you want to do there is you want to understand that it will become higher. 
when the strings are actually tightened when you're actually playing. So you just make it ever so slightly lower, and then you can tighten the strings. You can tighten the strings to see how much the action is increased by tight tightening the strings, but it doesn't increase the strings. Just it's probably about a solid three millimeter. If depending on like you know the weight of your strings or whatever, you can get about three millimeters of extra action. It'll, it'll increase as you tighten the strings. So that's about it. Uh, I mean, these bases are fucking cheap. They're not uh, high quality by any stretch of the imagination. So uh, this is a nice fix. It's not especially risky. You know, I mean, I mean, anytime you do maintenance and you're like, taking shit off. Uh, there's a risk to it. Even loosening screws, you could break the screw. But I just want you to understand this is the process. adjustable. You need to understand that you can fuck up and still have good action. And this is a P base, and what P stands for is plastic, because it's fucking ghetto. So, yes. I want to thank you for watching. I wish you luck. I wish you luck on your base endeavors. So, yes. Happy New Year. I will upload more. Yeah, the day